Her red muffler looked like uh, blood to me. That's how ghastly the whole scene was. Yes, her red muffler. Her red muffler? Yes, like a scarf. The chief prosecutor always wears oh, one yeah. on her neck. Oh, yeah, this one. So she can always, uh, so she can easily hang it at the be moment, hanged. be hanged uh, at a moment's notice, I suppose. Uh, add another check to that bias list that we're starting, because we're that number is increasing. She's right. We could hang her. But the scarf's red. Too <laughs> bad it's longer. This guy was wearing a red scarf, wasn't she? That was cool. But wait, isn't it odd that he mistook that for splattered food? <laughs> well, people often mistake my beard for a bib! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Actually, it kind of does sense it. It does look like you can just take that off and it's like a beard is bought bib like more more shrimp beard no, bib goes more lobster beard. please <laughs> a judge with a bib that's why this place feels so much like kindergarten sometimes that is the truest thing i've heard in this game so far my freaking elementary school courtroom was more professional than this i know when he was being tried for stealing the money actually I do think I saw some traces of blood on her chest. However, the autopsy report is clear on this matter. There was only one knife wound. Yes, that's what, that's the point we're trying to establish. Apparently, Miss Star isn't entirely sure of her own testimony. Mr. Wright, this is our chance. Jan, for what I wonder? This has turned out to be a short temper as she was when we met her. Challenging her ability as a detective really set her off. In short, uh, Wick burns out the fastest. It's a scientific fact. I wonder, would it depend on the size of the candle? Why are you staring at me like that? I mean, the more wax and even a really short wick will burn longer. Obviously, more scientific testing is required. Uh-huh. Thank you, Emma. Okay. You have to go to the end there. Come on. Her red muffler looks like blood. Wait, hold on. Let's look at that photograph. She's not wearing it! Ah! I love how, like, stupid obvious she's becoming. Yeah. Like, at the beginning, she was, like, almost impossible to find it, and now it's, like, just stupid obvious. Time for an objection! Miss Star, I demand explanation! The witness is clearly <laughs> not suited for detective work, troll. Oh. <laughs> <He's interrupting. laughs> is he interrupting me again? Just to troll her. What? <clears throat> the suspect was not wearing a scarf or a muffler <laughs> of any kind when she was stabbed the victim. Son of a, yes, that's son of a say bitch! I was like. about to say that! Yeah, yeah, you yeah. bastard! Anything you for, stupid bastard! I, I hate you! I'm, at this point, I'm doing anything for Emma. I don't even care about this case. Right, I'd love you. No, I love Emma. <laughs> Sorry, You're Mr. cheating Mike. on me. Sorry. Uh, Edgeworth, I have you. Well, she's, she's mine now. You can't have her! Out. And you've proved it yourself with this photograph. Both these men are fighting for me in court. Huh? How is that possible? Only a true professional could be so clueless. Like, oh my god. What the hell? That was a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> Only a true professional could be so clueless. That actually is pretty true about life, actually. Yeah, okay. I'm sure you'll make a good lunch lady, have no fear. Mm, harsh words, but good. Edgeworth is cool. In the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevails. What was my objection? Chop liver? I'm gonna go on his side now. But it was there, a scarf. No, not that, but something red. Really? Well now, where were we? The witness has given us an entertaining interlude. <laughs> now back to business. That was funny. What? A, what? An entertaining interlude. <laughs> He's just controlling the shadow. I know, right? Very well, witness. Compu computer, <laughs> continue your testimony. <laughs> you saw the crime and apprehend the subject. 
Suspect. Tell us about that. <clears throat> Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Some things? Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of our testimony. The most important part? How do you read my mind? Yeah, I know, you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> the part where your sister stabs a victim. I'm also a medium. <laughs> next testimony <laughs> might just be the moment of truth. I think it's the last one. Apprehend the suspect. Okay, let's listen to this one. Here we go. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a um, partition off to her side. Why? I quickly caught her, explained uh, her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. Explain her rights. You can't erase someone unless you really are a cop. <laughs> Explain her rights. You have the right to remain handcuffed to me. And then you say cannon will be used against you later at my place. And I'll have a lot of my boyfriends come and beat you up. <laughs> if you can't afford a lawyer, I'll have one of my boyfriends who's also a lawyer to come and, and, and make you wear this ball gag. <laughs> I love your face, you're like... Uh, yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what uh, had me confused in my earlier testimony. Think like you're under arrest! Oh. Muffler! <laughs> Football! <laughs> Pizza! Football! You're under arrest! Muffler! <laughs> muffler! Apparently this woman would not be suitable arresting um, Madden. Who's that Pokemon? It's Muffler! <laughs> muffler! <laughs> muffler! <laughs> the chief prosecutor to... Uh, uh, made escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. You a The Ricinator? I'm gonna watch that later. <gasps> you are quite determined about this scarf, aren't you? Yeah. I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. We're well, both snakes. Okay, yeah. what's Edgeworth gonna That's me, Angel Star. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, cobra has a kind of snake. Don't bother me with details unless you want to get bitten. No thanks! Note yourself. Attorney Wright gets bitten by a snake. What? <laughs> okay. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. I, I'm, go I'm very good at mud wrestling. She knocked my hand aside, gets over an, oil, an oil drum. And we were covering oh, yeah. oil and I spanked her. Oil drum, oil. Oil dram? oil dram! Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator. Uh, now we would have made another reference. A <laughs> predator this one. Uh, this one. A leopard woman. Why? Roar. No, no. Roar. Yeah. I already did it. Not roar. Roar, but roar. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross examination, if you will. Okay. Apprehending the sad. Group. Emma's still probably in the corner, like, should I be on his side or his side? But see, after the murder, she tried to run. Um, she puts her dodger. What the hell does a muffler have to do with this, though? Okay. Uh, uh, this is President. Oh. I don't know anything we're going to put it around him. So, where is this Pateradian on the floor plans? Pateradian. Oh, that's you. I'm sure she means this wall next to the car. He just stopped off. They look like peanut there, actually. Like <laughs> He just jumped up! That's, just, that's, that's right! That's right, he did just jump up. There was a wall there, about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. But she's accepting her fate. And what did you do then? Okay, blah blah. You say quickly, were you close to the subject? As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. That's not close! Hmm, maybe I should yeah. press her for more details. Nally will press her. I'd like to see... I'd like to see this on the floor plans, just to be safe. Doody doody do floor plans! The lunch lady car was... It was a visitor! Thus she was parked in B block. Uh, that's Edgeworth saying oh. that. Oh, I said, said Edgeworth. Whatever. So you witness a murder from here? No, I'm making about 30 feet from the car, yes! Is that correct, mister? Uh, yes. That's right. But there was a chain link fence in front of you. 
I went over it, of course. Oh. Yeah, she just jumped. Woo! Doesn't that fence go all the way up to the ceiling? Amazing! The Gotham Queen! Looks like an athlete indeed! I was a police officer before, remember? I thought that fence went up to the It would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. So she could have, uh, have gotten to my sister that fast. Yeah, that fence was about nine yeah, like feet. How, yeah, look Yeah. There's a about nine feet high, too. She probably just jumped on that truck and just jumped over. Looks like she can barely fit through unless she was Faith from Mirror's Edge. <laughs> Maybe. How come this guy didn't get away? Okay. When I arrested her, she mentioned the math. The muff muff. Nothing. She mentioned the muff muff? What exactly did she say? When I remember exactly, I would have told you in my testimony. Good answer. Cheeky! Cheeky, boy. Anyway, all I heard, uh, all I heard her, uh, say was the word muffler. Muff, muff. I should have brought Whatever. Yeah. Just that one word! So, what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but to someone else. Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Oh yeah, her phone? You mean this cell phone? Ask further. Leave it be. By phone, do you mean the cell phone discovered at the crime scene? <laughs> yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory. It's like salmon uh, heading upstream, you see. What that, I don't know what that means. No, the court doesn't see, Miss Star! The chief prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? No, in your ass. <laughs> That's right! Near the car! There's a mercy phone on the wall. Apparently it was out of order. <laughs> and so she used her... mobile? Duh! What a useless salient of questions. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. <clears throat> Good witnessing, witness! Good witnessing? Whatever happened to good testifying? Um, penis? You should, of course, I just see your testimony. Penis, I'm gonna go around the edge for the side now. No. <laughs> Sorry. The thing? Oh. The things I do to please the rookie defense attorney. <laughs> Bitch, for, all, for, for your information, I've been doing it for this long! Yeah, I'm gonna go over on that. Okay, what's it? She gave up trying to use one of the walls. She used her cell phone. Press it. Um, do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Aha! I was going to ask the same thing. Uh -huh. No, you weren't. I'll say it, uh, this one time, so listen close, rookies. Rookie? I'm old as dirt! Yeah, but you're He's apparently the dumbass here. Older than dirt. Hey, there's Kay. The Kill chief her. prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the uh, partition. Did you bring it out of here? Then she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was uh, out of order. So she pulled out her cell phone, uh, her own cell phone, uh, out of her pocket. Oof! Whoa. And during the time you climbed over a chain link fence? Ooh. Then I fully grabbed her arm. This is. I like this picture. Mm -hmm. Look at them staring at each other. They're like, let's make out. Okay. The chief prosecutor hung up the phone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that. I grabbed her. Oh, hold on. Let me hit my phone real quick. Okay, you can grab me now. I gotta go by. I'm being grabbed. <laughs> it's like. Okay, now you can grab me again. Oh, not so hard. I'm submitting. <laughs> and you saw her doing this? What is it, Mr. Wright? Oh, it was behind the partition. It's, oh, I get it. Okay, maybe it's the fact... Hold on. What's the cell phone say? It updated. The word muffler was over. Heard on the call made for Emma 518. 
Wait, so she's still alive. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if she's going to be Okay, after the murder, suspects attempted to run behind the partition. I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, and rested on the spot. When I rested her, she mentioned the muffler. She gave up trying to use the phone on the wall and just used her cell phone. And the chief prosecutor made to escape. made to escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. Huh. Feature I kept singing like saying something during this one. She. Um. Wait, hold on. Let's just press this up real quick. She made to escape. Can you be more spassive? She brushes aside my hand and run. <laughs> and ran. I like brush and I like, excuse me. No, 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 That's good. This is a little nice, a little nice. It was a terrible sight to see. Like a dollop of lard on a pay of... I can't speak that language. I was gonna say a dollop of daisy. A dollop of lard on a pate of foie gras. That. Whatever. Ah! Face right as freaking know what that means. She even kicked over an oil drum at me. Here, taste oil. Put this letter on fire. Oil drum alley. I don't know what you're saying. An oil drum. Please don't tell me you know what that is. <laughs> there was an oil drum lying at the scene of the scene of the crime. But. It's strange. <laughs> What's that? The double team again. If she wanted to escape, why didn't she run the other way? The other. Ah! The car entrance! Th that's right! It doesn't make any sense that she would have run behind the partition of the oil drum. Excellent. More mysteries. I wish we could solve if you were finding more, though. You know, since he's out to be more helpful, I'm going on. So now. this guy tried to run? I'm sorry my sister is so uh, suspicious, Mr. Wright. Not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it. You have to believe me. I believe you in your miniskirt. Okay. I'm gonna try to oh. again real quick. I think we've already read this, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. blah blah. Mm -hmm. Close for keys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so explain. Okay, so we got the fact that she tried to use that phone. Then she tried to use a cell phone. Then she went. Wait! Okay! Mm -hmm. I think I know what Phoenix Wright's getting at. If she was on her phone and then she went over. How would she have known she was talking on her phone if she was behind the partition? How would she also take the picture at that time? Mm. Oh yeah, that's true. There yeah, we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, kind of want to the fence. This beautiful picture again. Oh, right, you saw her. Oh yeah, that's what he said. And you saw her doing this. Mm. So that's it, I think. So it's during this line. So what do we present? Her phone the or the floor plans? Oh, uh, the floor oh, plan yeah, yeah. shows that the partition's right there. Yeah. But this yeah, one doesn't specifically telephone. say that. You want to try this then? Yeah, because it also says telephone. Um, time for a okay. objection. There we go. Soft. I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. Objection. Objection. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Except all the exceptions of personal bias that we've seen throughout this entire case. Hush. <laughs> well, who would have thought that you were uh, my? You would be my knight in shining armor, uh, prosecutor. You, uh, who together with the chief prosecutor kicked me out two years ago. Hmm, That's why you'll never remember. Well, Miss Star! This is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make uh, you cough up. Uh, cough it all up. <laughs> uh -huh. Ahem. Let's look at the floor plans. You said you witnessed a crime from this point. However, if that's true, 
You could have positively seen this guy making that phone call. I believe you see what I'm getting at. An emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If indeed you were in the B block, you could have seen it! Oh, there's a techno dance. Ah! Uh... Order! Order! What is the meaning of this? I have no idea. It's simple, your honor. She's not coughing up lunch, she's coughing up lies! Uh... That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me a question. Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. Can't afford to get this wrong. Uh-oh. A witness lied about? Wait. Uh, this... Oh, crap. This is actually a... What she saw, where she saw it, or the order of events. That's hard, because it could be either mm -hmm. three. Because she can lie about what she saw and say that she saw her out on the phone, but the problem is she was on her phone. The fact is that she saw it. So wouldn't it be where she saw it? Because okay, she had yeah, to yeah, saw yeah. it in a position yeah. where she could have seen it. Yeah. yeah. So you want to go with where she saw it? Okay. Okay, we have an exclamation point. Okay. She tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. It would be pointless for her to lie about it. What is the lie? I see. The witness did actually see this guy using the emergency phone. In other words, Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different loc. <laughs> a different location? No, a different loc. A different loc. Now that's a pointless lie if I've heard, ever heard one. I've heard you say pointless lies in bed. Objection! Before you call my life pointless, at least let me tell it. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. 